Here's something else. No one wants to talk about this, but since it's morning and I don't have to go by show map, I'm just, uh, you know, I can get <laughs> yeah. in trouble. Yeah. Uh, we don't pay back China's debt until they fix this. Uh, yeah. You know what? I what is it, 1.2 trillion? No. Sorry. Not saying we're never going to pay it, but you know what? You should cut. You should give us a discount. You should give the whole world a discount, by the <laughs> Truly, way, yeah. for lying about this, for being dishonest, for not telling people what was actually happening. And uh, NATO, let's say, you know what, NATO, we're paying 3.6%. The international agreement is 2%. The average, I believe, is somewhere between 1% to 1.3%. What most nations pay, we pay 36 We say, guess what? We're just going to pay the average that everyone else pays until they step up. Yeah. Mm. Right there. You're talking about anywhere from $500 billion to $1.5 trillion. Let's start rearranging this here. Let's stop footing the bill for the rest of the world. Just like the rest of the world is looking to us for some kind of right. a cure right now. And who do we look to? Not the government, but private industry. And the rest of the world benefits from our private industry. Same thing. You know what? You don't get the subsidized drugs. This is true. I, sometimes you can order name brand drugs from Canada and they're cheaper than the United States. Why? Because all the costs are burdened here in the United States. It costs more here. It's subsidized abroad. Right. And so they don't have to pay as much. Guess what? If you want to use American made or American manufactured drugs invented here in the United States from American pharmaceutical companies, you pay a premium. Our people pay less off the bat. You pay more. Yeah. This is, this is the America first that I can be on board with. Not tariffs, not trying to shut down global free enterprise or trade on a fair level, which isn't happening with China most of the time, but this idea that we shouldn't be footing the bill for everyone else right now. I don't know. Is it me? Is it me? Mm. You guys no, let me yeah, know. But I, I see it. it and I go, hold on a second. How about we yeah. cut some funding to NATO? How about we tell China to go sit on wire, brush, and rotate until they decide to figure their crap out? We're not, they're not going to be holding our debt. And uh, let's make people pay for the drugs that we create and invent. Same thing right now with coronavirus. Mm. This is what happens. Yeah. People say, oh, it's cruel. Really? Why isn't it cruel for you to have suckled at our teat? For decades, these people brag about socialized health care, just like they brag right. about having a smaller it, military budget. It works budget. here. It works here. Why didn't it work there? Right. Sure. Yeah. Well, you have a smaller military yeah. budget, Canada. Why? You. Because we foot the bill. Yeah. And then they look to us for health care. No, no. We shouldn't subsidize the world. We shouldn't fund the world for health care. Why should you all benefit from our private health care industry and instead, why you simultaneously demonize it between every single election? 